The video that you are about to see is actually overdue because it has not even been opened yet and I got it for Christmas. Again, this video is overdue because I got this for Christmas and it's two months later. So this is overdue and you have been warned. Hello everyone and I'm going to be doing a review on the Student Disembody Council! I'm joking though, I'm actually going to be doing a review on Fluttershy! Ah. Fluttershy! I'm joking, I'm not actually going to be doing a review on Fluttershy. Well, I will, but not now. So get out of the way, Fluttershy. We'll be doing a review on the Student Disembody Council. Photos will be at the end of the video. And, yeah. See you all there. Woo. Okay, so let's get started with the box. Right here. It says, introducing Gilda, daughter of the Golden Hind, which we actually have seen her in the series a few times. Uh, if you haven't seen Fright On, if you look closely into one of the scenes, you will see Gilda. That's like the only time anyone's actually seen her for real. Or the only time I've ever seen her for real. But if you see Fright On, if you have seen the Monster Eye Fright On segment, you know that you've seen her. Although she looks very different, because her eyes are really just, yeah. Anyway, so it says, right here, We are Monster High, number one. Student Disembodied Council, the Monster High logo, Monster High crest. On the right here, it has been shift the Monster High flags, number one. And bone hands, I mean, like, number one. Here it says slow mo for president, slow man, slow mo, Mortavich, Laguna Blue for vice principal, and prince president, eh. um, Cleo Denial for social chair, um, Cleo Denial for social chair, um, Gilda Goldstag. What? Oh yeah, golden, golden, gold stag for treasure, and finally, um, scare screams for secretary. Let's turn this person back after I just show you the fact that this actually has, where is it, a handle. Let's turn that to the back. As you see, it says, we are Monster High, straight into some body present, and to show this, these. These are right here, showing like their campaign on the board wall. Looks cool. Monster High, be yourself, be unique, and be a monster. Not there. Yeah, go to monsterhigh.com. And yeah, so I'm going to be taking this out of the box, and I'll see you there. Woo! Here they all are. Not fully out of the box, but yeah. But I'm going to take them out and put them in an area with more, with better lighting so that it's not like this. So, yeah. Be right and out of the box! Oh my gosh, the hallway is so echoey. Anyway, so we're going to be doing the review and let's get started with Scara. She has, her entire outfit just matches her completely. So her eyeshadow is bubblegum pink, which matches her shoes, which have buckles to hold the feet to get, hold the shoe on. And it's bubblegum pink, which I find adorable. And after her eyes match this awesome buckle belt, which the wrong side has the part where you yeah, should we have it on. There we go. This set does not come with sand, sadly, so downside to the line. Her dress. Which actually has black screaming faces on it. If you look very closely, didn't even notice till I actually got the doll. And it matches her lipstick and her mascara or hair. And the belt matches her eyes. And after she also comes with the glove, as in the photo. I did it based on the photo wise. And it shows right here she's holding the glove. So I give it a glove. And I'm going to give you a 360 of her. So, there's a little 360 of her 
that. She also her black hair is also in a high ponytail, by the way. Yeah. No, not having the pro same problem happen again. That problem was terrible. Huh. Okay, so next up is Gilda. Let's take a look at her. She doesn't really have any makeup on except her lips, which is like, like a soft bubblegum pink. More like her hair color, except softer and lighter. Like a softer, lighter version of her hair, which I love the mohawk, by the way. This is like a new part of the dolls that we've never seen with these antlers. She gives you 360 of the hair and the antlers and a few. Her, on her face, huh, that's supposed to be there? Apparently it is. Black dot there. Let me know in the comment if it's meant to be there because I don't think it is. She has like other pink dots but I don't know what that black one in the middle is. If you see that. Yeah. And after she's gold and her eyes are like my color. Which, yay, there's a monster eye doll with my color. Eyes, yay. Same with Cleo, but... But... This one's sort of like it. They're, they're both in tie. Anyway, she has these big yellow hoop earrings, which I believe that's the first time we've even seen hoop earrings on Monster High doll. And after her ears are like elk ears, sort of. And she has no eyeshadow or blush. Her shirt is um, a tank top. Oh dang, I have to put the flag block on her. Fixed it. Okay, so her jacket is tan. It has this like target on it. Oh my god, the flag dropped again. Fixed it again. And the tan jacket has, I don't know what that's called anyway. And her belt is very detailed, more detailed than any belt we've seen on a Monster High doll. It is orange and actually has yellow buckle and is bigger than the teeny tiny thin ones like the one that Scara is wearing. She's wearing brown leggings and her boots are very detailed even though they're one color. They actually have the ruffles right here and they're just very very simple and cool and just looks amazing and they're not my favorite shoes but they're not my favorite shoes but best boots best simple style boots and I would have chose these but I already had that on my wink stall Flora basic and literally that's sort of like copying no offense but just saying because both of them have the shoes bigger than their actual feet, so they slip off a lot. And they don't and both of them are just like that, so I think they just like took the design. One of them did, that is. I think Mar Mattel did because Jack Specific had the dolls out in like 2012. These did in 2014. My favorite shoes are these, by the way. My favorite doll or dolls. I'll have to come back on you for that later. Anyway, let me finish off the review. She also has the flag because in the photo. She's holding the flag. And I'm just going to hold this up for you right now. Clea is not holding the flag as anything. Um, Laguna, she's holding the glove and the slow holding the flag. Just to save you time. Anyway, I'll give you a 360 of this awesome beast. Love the mohawk. And the, this literally is molded perfectly and just amazing. Here's the back. Love the mohawk. Oh my god. I fixed that, but not done yet. I really wonder what it would be like if you actually washed the hair and the mohawk went out. I wonder what her hair would look like then. But it's the first time we've seen a mohawk on a girl doll. First time we've seen an outfit this simple, with a teeny bit of design and very detailed. And first time we've seen a doll with these ears, this, and hoop earrings. So this doll makes a big start on the Monster Eye dolls. And I'll put this back on in a teeny bit. And now Cleo. And we are at Cleo. 
which in my opinion is the worst doll of this line and I'll tell you all my reasons about it. So number one, the red and black does makes her look like Osiris, which is like the death pharaoh, like the death god in the Egyptian world. Yeah, we were studying Egyptian, so just saying, just reminds me of that. I don't like it that much. Oh my god, what's wrong with my voice? I just like, sounds like a robot, right? So creepy. And it's short with bangs, which she's never had short hair. And it's just like very creepy, in my opinion. Her necklace is red, and basically mostly everything in her outfit is red. So basically this entire outfit, except the dress, reminds me of Osiris, and that really sucks. Her makeup is Nile blue. Her eyes are Nile blue. And in the photo, it shows that she has gold above and the brow line. But she doesn't have gold on here, which is very odd. But I decided to the tinsel back. Yeah. Okay. The dress is very simple, sort of. Now this would be way better, but it's actually not. It's a cheap fabric that is gold. Now that has the wrap design, which kind of, which kind of goes at an angle. And it really sucks. And the shoes, again, copy shoes, yada yada. Yeah, so very simple, very... Because you could say bold, I guess. No, that's not bold. This is bold, sort of, in my opinion. But yeah, these are all simple, but the, this one is just too basic, too unoriginal, too weird. And she doesn't own anything. Yeah, so... This is my least favorite doll, actually. Second least favorite doll is still no. And then after, I'm not going to have Gilda into this. Well, you know what? I'm keeping Slomo into the top three favorite. Um, Gilda is not going to be in the top three due to the fact that she's a new doll and we haven't seen any others of her. So Cleo, least favorite, favorite shoes, mascara. Yeah, move on to Laguna, which I have to say is my first favorite, second favorite, third favorite. Because I don't have her. I don't have her, but I love the shoes. And after she just freaking amazing which is making me start my own series after the sparks family which i have to get all the stuff back in order for me to continue the sparks family otherwise we'll just go to this series right away and she'll just be like the main character just like the three just like she'll just literally be the main character because in the sparks family the entire family are the main characters and literally the main characters because each episode is like about a different person and i guess you could say the parents are the main characters but the children get more spotlight, but, yeah, but Laguna would actually be the main main character, but, yeah, so, yeah. Okay, so that's it then of part one, and I'll see you guys in the part two, with all the photos and the rest of the footage, and the review of Laguna and slow-mo. Goodbye! Da-da-da-da-da-da-da-do, subscribe!